Good morning everyone. Today we're going to do a little uh, pouring with Deco Art acrylic paint and the Deco Art pouring medium as you see here. And I'm going to show you how to um, how to mix it. So you always shake everything that you are going to use. We're going to put some uh, white, put some extra in there. Then we're going to add the pouring medium. And when you start doing this and you don't have any experience whatsoever, a uh, good thing to do is uh, take one of these out of the shop. And here it will explain exactly how much medium you have to add to the acrylic paint. But be sure to experiment with it too. A little bit more, a little bit less and see what effects that will give you. Always good to do. So I'm uh, going to mix this up. And when you mix this in, a good thing to do is scrape along the sides and in the middle, don't forget that part, and just really stir it up. And then you have one nice, smooth consistency in your little cup, and that's what you're going for. Now, I'm going to add uh, two drops of silicone. One, two. And we're going to stir that in. That's it. Then we're going to put this aside. We don't want to get that dirty. Well, I have a canvas. What I do with the canvas is always use the push pins. You know, they're so cheap, but they um, alleviate the painting from the table because you will have some drip off on your table. And that way you'll keep your back semi clean not not totally clean because you'll get drips on the uh, on the back but most of it will um you know just go under the canvas and using the push pins that make sure that you have the uh, room that it can go under there so that's uh that's a good thing to do now when you are ready you've mixed all your paints that's when you put it all together in a cup so I'm going to start with some white and with some really beautiful beige. Then I'm going to come in with my blues. And I have also, I have three metallics. This is a metallic color, also from Deco Art. I'll, um, I'll get the colors in a bit so that you can see what they are and maybe if it's a really pretty pour and you want to do the same colors, you can that. This is a nice metallic color. We're going to pour that one in. And then add again a little white. We're going to pour that straight through the middle there. And we're going to finish off with some more beige. That's it. Now I'll get the colors. I'm using ice blue and that's a beautiful metallic color as you can see. I'm using peacock pearl, nice and metallic color. Then I'm using Venetian gold and some of the honey brown with white, the snow titanium, just to lighten it up. And I have some calypso blue. Or maybe I don't have Calypso Blue. No, I don't have Calypso Blue. <laughs> okay. Now, the easiest way to do this is put your canvas on top and just turn it around and it is exactly there where you want it to be. Then I push it up and pull it down just like that. And see how I did not lift up the cup from the middle because if you do that, you'll get some drips in the middle of your... Um, pour and you'll lose your beautiful pattern and you don't want to do that that's a shame and of course you have a lot left in your cup and what I do is I take a palette knife and I just put it here in the corners where it's really needed because that'll make it flow over the side a little faster here we go making it nice and wet 
So, like I always say, a pellet knife is not a luxury. It's really handy when you're doing pours. Now, pouring down that way, pouring down that way, and over the corner. There we go. Now, I really like the uh, the color combination. Uh, the dark blue sort of um, is covered, but that's okay. Now I'm taking a, a creme brulee torch. And that's what I'm going to torch it with. And be careful when you're handling these kind of tools because um, the flame is pretty hot. And what I'm doing is sort of making sure that all that silicone is going to be pulled to the top by the warmth of the torch. As you can see already, all these beautiful cells are forming. And of course we don't want too much, so I think this, will, this is it. And what I'm doing now is really fast coming down on the painting, just to make sure that there are no air bubbles, because we don't want the air bubbles. And now I'm checking my canvas and this one, this part is important because what you do now, you don't have to do later. And as you can see here, we have a little corner exposed and then I like to take up some paint, same color as is on the canvas and just let it come down and mix in there, making sure that fold is covered, tiny little bit on this side. That is totally covered. Now I turn it around and make sure that all my corners are covered in paint because what we don't want is a canvas showing. We don't want that. Here another corner exposed and I just let it flow off my palette knife and that way everything is nicely covered. That one too, that one's covered just a little tiny bit there. Okay, we're ready. Now, what I like to do is, because this is such a beautiful, light, pastel looking pour, I'd like to add something because I think it needs just a little bit to pull it up and make it just that little bit more beautiful. So, what I have is a really, really beautiful, light colored uh, art glitter. And what I do is I put it in my hand, in the middle here, a little bit of that. And then slowly I let it come down on the painting. But just where I want it. A little bit up here, a little bit here. And on the whole thing, but just lightly. See how I just clap my hands together? It releases a tiny little bit of uh, glitter. You don't want to overdo it because, you know, then it'll take away from all the cells and you don't want to do that. But you do want it when it catches light that it just gives you that little sparkle. And that makes it all just the more interesting. So that's that. Then I have another one which I would like to try. It is um, a little bit bigger. Art glitter, you have them in uh, different gradations from very, very fine to a little bit bigger. So that one I'm going to add right now. As you can see, these are pretty large pieces, but just here and there, a couple to catch the light. And that's about what I think is perfectly fitting for this piece. So I'll have one more, which I want to add, and that is a really, really fine glitter. And this is more of a bronze color, so it's going to go towards the, the beige, what's in this uh, painting. See how I'm just really, very subtly adding a tiny, tiny little bit of glitter. Not too much. We don't want to overdo it, because then, <laughs> then you have too much. Okay, that's looking good. So that's uh, that's the pour. I'm very satisfied with it. I like the nice big cells 
I have a little bit of lacing going on here. Up here there's a little bit of lacing and it pulls it all together with that little bit of glitter that makes it just that bit more interesting. So I think this is a beautiful pour. I'll give you a little close-up. Here we go. This is really pretty, this little corner here. There are all over the place, there are really nice little bits that pull the uh, attention and, you know, just nice. So thank you all. I'd like to give a big thank you to Deco Art for sending me the stuff to try this with. And I'm, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Thank you all. See you all in the next video. Bye bye. So I thought I'd do a, a couple of squishes just as a bonus. Uh, just to prove that this paint is uh, good for doing the squishes or what you call them, you know, just on the photo paper. You know, to make the collages or something like that. So what I'm doing is adding a couple of colors on my photo paper. And it's, it's really, uh, you don't have to have much experience. Just put some colors on there and then swipe it like this. And you do need a palette knife for that. And there it is. You have some pretty cells to make some jewelry, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, just one more with some different colors. So a little bit of white. And of course, some of the drip off from the table because it's always good to, you know, use some of this. Then a little bit of gold that we had left over. What's that? That is kind of pretty all by itself. When you just drop some paint in there like that. Let's see if we can torch that. Oh, that is really pretty. Don't want to torch too long because you don't want to skin on top because then you can't do anything with it anymore. But look at this. That is pretty. And now I'm going to swipe it. So we're going to push it all up and swipe it back. And this is going to be really light, but I like, uh, sometimes I like the pastel sort of colors. This reminds me of the uh, the sea, the water, the beach. That's sort of what it reminds me of, and I kind of like it. I think it might you uh, might be good if we use a little bit of the dark blue and squish over that one. And always make sure you have a clean palette knife that you don't contaminate it. A little bit more here. There we go. And remember, you can always use your punch, your favorite punch. You wait till this is dry, and then with your favorite punch, you can punch out some pretty uh, figures and put them on greeting cards, whatever you like. That really uh, is uh, nice to use this for. See all the uh, structure that it has, all the cells, all the wispiness of the colors. So that'll make a, a beautiful uh, greeting card or a get well soon card, who knows whatever you want to do with it. So thanks for watching guys. See you all later.